Doctor, one of the chapters in um, one of your books, Fantastic Voyage, talks about the real cause of heart disease. Uh, cholesterol is, uh, has always been the main focus. Uh, is that still accurate or is that accurate? Well, it used to be thought that this is called uh, the cholesterol hypothesis, mm -hmm. but it now appears that at least 40 or 50 percent of people who have heart attacks have normal or low cholesterol levels. So if you were to plot the risk of having a heart attack against your cholesterol level, if, if cholesterol were the cause, then we would expect the higher your cholesterol level, the higher your risk of heart attack. Sure. But that's not the case. If you were to plot that, it's actually a scattergram. There's no correlation okay. whatsoever. So yes, having a very high cholesterol level probably will increase your risk. But there's a lot of other things that are, that are going on. And one of the big ones is inflammation. And that's what we talk about in books, is if you can keep uh, the inflammation in your body down, the chance of your having a heart attack is much lower. We're also uh, becoming much more sophisticated in our understanding of the lining of the inside of the arteries, what's referred to as the endothelium. And now we have new tests that can measure the health of our endothelium, the cells that line the arteries, and there are certain specific things we can do, uh, tests we can do to find out if we're at risk, and then uh, take some uh, lifestyle uh, changes, supplements and things like that to address that problem, and then reduce our chance of developing a heart attack almost to zero. So you mentioned inflammation and keeping that down. How does somebody know where their level might be and if that's something that they need to do? Well, the, there are several tests that are available, common blood tests. The, 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 the gold standard is referred to as a high sensitivity CRP, C-reactive protein. That's mm -hmm. just a simple blood test. It's not very expensive. can be done by any, any doctor. And that test, if it's elevated, will suggest there is increased inflammation in the body. So if you do that and you find out that your CRP level is high, then you definitely want to take steps to lower that because high CRP equals high or increased risk of uh, heart disease. And, and what can people do to lower inflammation? Well, number one is find out where it's coming from. Okay. So, for instance, one of the sources of inflammation that far too many people have is dental, uh, gingivitis, the, the gum infections. So, you know, seeing the dentist regularly and treating uh, gingivitis, periodontal disease, is, is critically important. Things along those lines. Mm -hmm. And then there's anti-inflammatories. We know, for instance, that uh, curry eating curry has turmeric in it. Turmeric has a compound called curcumin in it, which has profound anti-inflammatories. People who eat curry regularly have a lower incidence of cancer, have a lower incidence of Alzheimer's disease, lower incidence of heart disease. So there are things that we can do with our lifestyle if we find that we have inflammation that we can take these natural anti-inflammatories to reduce.